QTH of Kim's KD0FEI in Bonner Springs, Kansas, not too far from the Kansas Speedway. And as you can see, it's a beautiful, dry, but very windy day here in the state of Kansas. And this is Kim's latest project called Getting Some Gain in the Air. He started on this project last year with the tower which is currently nested. Bought that tower from Larry, N0 MST down in around Joplin. New cable, new winch, painted it up, got the concrete in the ground. There's the winch he got. And this is a Triax. Triax Tower built in Basilla, California. Like I said, Kim went with the heavy duty or heavy duty cable. This is an 85 footer. The only thing he's lacking right now is a mass pipe, which we're gonna pick up. And over here, he's got a tilt over unit. Got a roller bearing up top there, cover up with the can. And he's got a got an ATV winch covered up from the weather. And that unit, the whole unit slips into a receptacle into the ground. And this will give him tilt over capability of the tower. So he can tilt the tower over and winch it up with the electric winch. Pretty neat little idea. And next so it's a it's a crank over, crank up, setup. Now if you're wondering what antennas he went with, he went with the 5WL on 2 meters, which is the 33 footer. Single antenna give you plenty of gain. And we've just got through hanging the uh, Philly strand cable so it can uh, sag for a, a few days. And then he went with the uh, 7WL. 7 wavelength on 432, which is the 33 footer. And right now he's positioning the uh, the bracket and the uh, boom support. What do you think, Kim? You gonna get on the air in a few in a month? Dude, we'll get around to it. All right, we got the uh, second antenna, the 432 strung. Now, next step, get them up on the tower. All right, we're all ready to winch this thing over with. Let's see, there's this bearing up here. Look, there you go. All right, here we go. You want to run the hoist? You don't. No, you run the hoist. I'll push. You gonna put a rope on it? No. All right. It's gotta go. Gotta, gotta go this way. Tell me when you're ready. All right, slack coming up. Okay, hold on. Is that gonna hold it? Yeah. Alright. Alright, go. Now that's slick. This is redneck technology, folks. I'm close to 
get into the roof top there. Ah, uh, you got about a few inches. Come on, keep going. You're on the roof now. You can go, you can go a little bit further. Oh hell, that's a, that ain't too bad, is it? Put your board up there. No, you, you like to, you like to probably about another foot. Button it down. Yeah, another foot on your, on your pipe. Yeah. Did it work like it's supposed to, didn't it? Sure did. <laughs> I want it to. The key there, does it have power to bring it back up? I don't know. Go the other way with it. You need to probably fire your truck up. Huh? Probably gonna need to fire your truck up. Alright. Yeah, he, about a foot short on that pipe up there. And got the mass pipe and let's see we got uh got uh, more guy cable for the tire jumpers for the antennas it's lmr 600 to get to the house rotor rotor cable bearing okay we got the uh, got the tire course laid down got the rotor in it The rotor positions. We got the two meter antenna on. Coax strong, ballon fastened. Now we're doing the 432 one. You gotta love how they sag when they're in the horizontal position. Philly strand don't do no good when they're laying down. Anyway, we'll get the last one hooked up and make the final connections. Already calibrated the rotor. Beautiful day to be doing it. A little warm, but not too bad. Good breeze. The uh, tower raise, I'd like to have got the tower raising on video, but his little 12-volt winch did not live up to expectations, so we had to help lift to assist it. So he's going to have to get a bit more heavier duty or Anyway, we're going to come back and finish making the connections here with the uh, LMR 600 and then uh, run it towards the house. The uh, bracket there keeps the tire from uh, hitting or lowering past the rotor cable and cutting it, so pretty good idea. So anyway, we're almost there. Looking good. Not too bad when you're in the shade, but you're in that heat, man. It's in the upper 80s today here in Kansas. Look pretty good so far. Right now I think it's standing probably roughly to the 432 antenna, probably around 40 feet or so. We'll crank it up another 20 feet. And we make some final adjustments to the antennas. Well, Kim, you want to do it again? Sure. You want to do it again? Sure. You wouldn't say that earlier. That's more. Thanks. All right. Well, he's happy. I'm happy. And thanks to Richard for the mass pipe. And you just got to finish doing the guy cables for the tire. Give it added uh, support up top. All right from Bonner Springs, Kansas for the Grid Bandits. I'm JD in RS and Kim, what? KD0FEI. Yeah, KD0FEI. All right, you're gonna see everybody on the air, right? With that big signal? Yeah.